This is the Teenage Engineering EP133KO2. In this video, I'm just going to show you how you can take a sample, chop it up, and turn it into a beat. So I'm just going to fire up the device and let's listen to the sample. So this is just a sample that I found on Splice. So now I'm going to chop it in real time. And to do that, you just have to press shift and sample. And then you'll notice that the sample just starts playing straight away. So in order to chop, you have to hold down the pad. You want the current sound on. Just like this. And now we got all the chops nicely assigned to the pads because I have to start the sample before I can assign pads. The first pad misses the beginning of the sample. So in order to adjust for that, you just have to twist the orange knob all the way to the left in order to get the very start of the sample. And now comes my favorite part of this sort of workflow, and that's just to play around with the samples and try to find something that works out. I also like to play with the pitches and the various slices. Okay, so now it's time to lay down some drums. So first I have to find some sounds and I'm just gonna make a little metronome beat. And also I know the sample is at 123 BPM. So I've set the KO2 to that. So now I'm just gonna program a very simple beat to have as a timekeeper. Okay, so now it's time to record some slices and I'm just gonna record them in batches because some of them are gonna be pitched so I'm gonna use the keys feature for that and that means that I'm kind of confined to that one slice in various pitches uh, which makes it hard to switch samples quickly. Yeah, and now we got sort of a starting point for some sort of chorus and I like this uh, vibe here. So what we recorded so far, it gives up the vibe of being the peak of the song. So now I'm gonna make something that's a little more low key. I can kind of build up to this uh, section we've already recorded. So I'm just gonna keep it very simple. And I'm just gonna use some of the slices from the beginning. And uh, it kind of gives a natural build up to the chorus. Now, if you watched my previous video about the EP133, you might be surprised that I'm making just a tutorial about it. The EP133 had quite a few quality control issues, and obviously, as you probably know, the big one was the infamous fader gate. And if you watched my previous videos, you probably know that I was sent a device that had a broken fader. So I made a video about my experience with that, and quite a few people got a little mad, but I did return it, and it took a while, but I did get a new device and I do enjoy working on it. And that's kind of what I want to show in this video right here. Now, do I think that the quality is great? No, I don't. It's obviously a very cheap build. They've had a lot of issues because of the cheap build. Broken screens, broken faders, broken speakers, and so on. And honestly, there's a big chance that my unit will still break. However, I'm just going to try and enjoy it for as long as it's actually working. All right, enough about that. Let's go back to the beat. Now we can listen to everything in context. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, now let's mess around with the effects. Okay, so now that I've played around with the effects, I'm gonna try and do a little performance to kind of show off the possibilities here.
Okay, so that's my little beat. That's what I came up with. I think it's pretty cool. I do love the punch-in effects. And uh, as you can see, this is more of a performance device. Like you don't have pattern chaining. Maybe they will add that in a later firmware update. I don't know. But you kind of have to be more hands-on in order to uh, perform your beats and perform longer arrangements. So for these performance settings, it's excellent. And as always, I would love to hear your opinions about it. If you have one, please tell us in the comment sections how you use them and what you like to do with it. And thank you for watching. So please hit that like button because it really helps my channel. So I'll see you in the next video. And in the meantime, you can check out these videos right here where I'm talking about various teenage engineering products.